Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, you might want to know why an app is frozen. Now, of course, in the previous video, I showed you how to uh, get that task manager even with keyboard shortcuts and of course, end a process. But sometimes you might be wondering, can I identify what's making it freeze? What exactly do I have in information uh, about it. Well, the task manager actually has information about a specific task. It might not always be useful, but sometimes it might give you a hint of why something is freezing. Once again, go to the task manager. You can right click the start button or use the keyboard shortcuts. In the task manager, when you look at the processes that are frozen, say for example, one of the processes is frozen here. What I could do is actually right click one process and just go to um, go to details. This will give you all the details of the specific processes that are here. And for example, and this is an example I'm going to give here. Say that my um, there's a game bar uh, ft server.exe running. Say that would be frozen. Well, you can right click on it. And there's an option that's called Analyze Weight Chain. What that means is that it's going to tell you what it's waiting for. So right now it's empty because it is disabled. But let's choose something like uh, graphics here. Right click. See if we can have a little more details. Nothing on this one. Uh, con host. Let's try Analyze Weight Chain. I'm trying to find a process that might have something that it's waiting for. When you do have a process that's waiting for something, it's going to tell you, oh, I'm waiting after this to happen. Let's try edge, um, weight chain. Once again, nothing much here. Uh, one about, I'm going to try one that might actually be doing something. Let's say there's, so runtime broker, let's try that. I'd like to have one that has a process, but anyways, you'll have something there that's going to actually give you uh, information about what it wants to do. So usually what's going to happen is that when you click one, you're going to actually right click. You're going to go into analyze weight chain and here. There's going to be a series of processes. It's going to say, I'm waiting for this process to answer me back. And it, that's really going to actually tell you a lot more about why maybe something's frozen. Sometimes the app might not be frozen. What might be freezing it technically is it's just waiting for a response from another process within Windows. And of course you have more about weight chains that you can click which brings you on the Microsoft website explaining the weight chains and how it actually works. So you can check it out on the different um, processes. So. All you have to do is when you're in the process tab, uh, simply right click a process and just go into details to have more of the uh, process details here. And in here, then you can actually right click and analyze the weight chain to see why something is waiting um, and why is it not responding. It might actually give you a hint of, okay, it's doing this, that's waiting for that. This is the reason it doesn't work. So it might give you a hint of how to maybe address an issue or a problem. It might also give you a hint as to what else might be broken that is freezing the app. Because sometimes a frozen app, maybe it's not the app that's the problem. It could be another process around it. By looking at the weight chain, you'll have an idea. And you can Google it and you can try to find information online about the different uh, the weight chain and the different uh, processes that it's waiting and why is it waiting for something in particular. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.